Hi everyone, Mrs. Yang here. I wanted to show you how to do the duck craft for today. This is our little duck or goose, whatever you want to call it. Um, and this one will require um, different shapes. So I'm going to show you the shapes that you need to cut out. You're going to need two circles, like about this size. Um, you can kind of see based on my hand, or you can make it, you know, whatever works for you. This is our two shapes. One of those is going to be used for his belly. The other is actually used for his wings. You're cutting it in half. Okay, so you can see it's a circle cut in half. So I just took one of these and cut it in half. Okay. Then you're going to need a circle that's slightly smaller than that belly. Okay, so here's the belly. Here's the head. This is the this one's the head. So you're going to have that slightly smaller because that will be going on top. Um, there'll be a neck in between. I'll show you here. So here's the head, which is slightly smaller, and it's round. All right. And then you're going to need a piece for the neck. It can be a rectangle. Mine just has a little bit of an angles angles to it to make it look a little bit more rounded so you can see how that looks once you attach it so yes you only need a, a rectangle for that area and I'll show you that here okay that's his neck and then you're going to need a piece for his beak his beak is about the same size as his head kind of a rounded part of that circle you can kind of see how that looks there and how much is left you can make it smaller. I like the bigger beak uh, for him, and then you're going to be turning it around and gluing it on, such as this. Okay. And I'll show you what that looks like. You'll put his beak on, and then you'll give him some little areas for his, sno his nose, his breathing holes, and then eyeballs. And then you're going to make cut out a couple of little feet. Um, and this is kind of like the shape of an umbrella with a couple little scallops cut out at the bottom. And of course, enough for his little legs to attach. So you can see how I attach those here. This is what he looks like when it's all attached. So you need two of those. If you don't have colored paper, just use white paper, color it in with crayons. Um, if you don't have, if you want your duck to be a different color and you don't, and you have yellow paper and brown paper, you can make them that color. Uh, but have fun and experiment and then take a picture and show us what you've done. See you later.